in the Weather Center with Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker. And we are talking about worlds apart from where we could be and where we are. <laughs> September can be a season of extremes as we illustrate in tonight's forecast. Focus after day of the 80s and even the 90s down in Lewiston. September 24th, 1926, however, a very different story. Severe cold across the entire western United States. Widespread crop destruction, particularly in the Columbia Basin. The earliest snow on record in Spokane County. Yes, it snowed on this date in 1926. At our all-time record low for the entire month of September was also set on this date, 22 degrees. The all-time record low for the month of September for the United States also set on this date at West Yellowstone at nine below. So it sort of puts today's weather into perspective. It can be radically different. In fact, it is. 84 degrees in Spokane, 82 right now in Coeur d'Alene, it's 79 in Sandpoint. Did make it into the 90s today in Lewiston, but it's 88 right now, 87 in Omac and 89 in Wenatchee. These temperatures actually about 5 degrees below yesterday's highs where we topped out at 90 in Spokane. We'll be a little bit cooler again tomorrow, but temperatures will still be about 10 degrees above average. A ridge of high pressure, which was very amplified, has flattened somewhat. That's allowing a weak cold front to pass through the area tonight. Another week cold front passes through Saturday. We won't see an increase in clouds or any precipitation. Winds picking up on an isolated basis, but that is going to moderate our temperatures somewhat. But we will keep temperatures above average and keep the sunshine going through the weekend before we start to see some more significant changes the middle of next work week. Taking a look at our national satellite and radar, it is warm and dry throughout the western United States. Quite a different story once you cross the Rockies. Two uh, pesky areas of low pressure bringing flooding rains through the Ohio River Valley, down through the Mississippi River Valley. Another area of low pressure in the plains triggering some showers and thunderstorms today. And as it drifts eastward, we'll do so again tomorrow. These are areas that are rain-soaked and don't need any more precipitation. Again, a study of contrast because in our seven-day outlook, lots of dry weather. Our ridge of high pressure is weakening. We're going to be cooler, but still above average. 81 tomorrow, 79 degrees on Saturday. 69 is our average high for this time of year. We'll stay sunny through the weekend and then possibly some more changes as we get into Tuesday with a chance of showers and temperatures down into the lower 60s. Codes for Kids coat count time. Our coat count for today, we had another nice little jump, 1,218, but we need thousands more. So please drop off your new or gently used warm winter coat at any Sterling Savings Bank, Tomlinson Real Estate Office, Papa Murphy's Pizza, mm -hmm. our new sponsor. Many area local schools are accepting coats, and you can always drop them off here at the KXOY Studios. Yeah, we'd love to see you.